Hello everybody. Out enjoying a cool morning this morning and figured it'd be a good time to catch everybody up on where we're at with a vegetable garden. We're continuing to expand as much as we can amid the uh, problem we're going through right now. My wife and I own a small business here in our hometown and back in March we were declared a non-essential business and uh, have been shut down for about six weeks now. Uh, other than uh, apart from a few online sales that, that we've been blessed with, uh, it's been pretty much non-existence. You can look back at some of my old videos. I've always kind of had a prepper mindset and, and, and tried to prepare for, for times like these. Although we were prepared more than, than some, uh, definitely as a wake-up call to see our weaknesses, uh, where we were lacking, and we've really worked hard the last uh, few weeks trying to uh, make changes, expand anywhere and everywhere we can to, to grow as much as we can. Cucumbers and uh, squash here are really coming on with that uh, warmer weather we're having. I mentioned in an earlier video of the cucumbers I planted, the left side of the uh, trellis were plants that I grew in the greenhouse this uh, early spring. And then the right side I planted by seed, and, and I mentioned in that video that typically the ones that I put out that I seed in the garden will catch the ones that I uh, grew in the greenhouse. So I'm not sure it makes a difference either way. Uh, with sometimes we get some pretty wet weather and can't get in the garden uh, right on time, so I like to have some of those plants started if I can. The corn patch we have here is doing really well. Uh, won't be long, probably a week or so, we'll be coming in and side dressing it with some nitrogen and uh, healing it up. Got some okra and some zucchini and a row of green beans there to the left. The tomatoes here on the back fence row is doing really well for us. Our onions are just starting to boil. In the greenhouse we've got some projects going on. I've been uh, really watching a lot of videos the last couple of weeks and uh, I'm fixing to dive head first into some hydroponic projects. I've got a lot of stuff on order, uh, of course, with uh, everything that's going on. A lot of that stuff's taken weeks sometimes to get to me. I've got a uh, seed order that I put in 1st of April that uh, has yet to ship, and I called the company last week, and uh, they informed me that uh, they're so backed up it may be mid-May before they can get those to me, but those are actually some that I'm trying to get just more or less stock up on. I've got plenty for my spring garden. The tomatoes I stuck here in these Wiccan pots are probably doing better than any that I've got other than the ones that are in the greenhouse. And they're all putting on tomatoes. Here's one of the Wiccan tubs with some squash tucked in it. Green beans are all up and at them. Here's a pot of zucchini that we had in the greenhouse over the winter that uh, produced for us. Uh, it had some issues with uh, some ants getting in the bucket and just didn't overall, the leaves didn't look real good in there. Uh, but brought it out here, cut it back, and it's come on now. And we've actually got some zucchini growing on it. Got a couple of tomatoes in some pots there on each side of my chicken coop. Morning ladies. Poe beans here are all doing well putting off their first runners. Strawberry pots here are doing really well for us. We've already harvested uh, quite a few off of here. A 
bush cucumbers I have in a couple of pots here on the homestead are doing well and uh, putting off some blooms. Our cantaloupes, watermelons, and pumpkins are doing well other than just uh, having to compete with some weeds there. We live in a small town here in Texas. Uh, we're up north of Dallas along the Red River. We live in town. We, we're a block off Main Street. Certainly wouldn't consider this to be urban. It's a small town, you know. We don't have box stores. We've got one grocery store in town. We've got an auto parts store, but we don't have, you know, we're, we're 25 miles, uh, 20, 25 miles from uh, a Home Depot, Lowe's. Uh, we do have a small lumber yard here in our town. That's a blessing. But our property, we live on right at a little over a third of an acre. We acquired the property next door to us that our uh, greenhouse sits on back about nine years ago. You know, it, it is what it is. I wish I lived on 10 acres, you know, but we're gonna try this year to really put, put out some produce and, and, and prepare and try to feed our family best we can because I, I don't think good times are ahead of us. I think it's gonna be get worse before it gets better. With that said, guys, I uh, hope you follow our journey. Until next time, y'all have a great day. See y'all later.